Hi, I'm Marcus from Marcus Language Academy and today we talk more about German grammar, which is also part of my course for beginners and if you want to study with my course, you will study with a story and colors and images. And today I have a really, really interesting uh, topic. It's a little bit more advanced, but it's about the adjective declensions. Okay. I get a, quite a lot of questions from my students, so let's explain it step by step. Um, remember, in German we use cases, nominative, accusative and dative, okay? And uh, we also depend on our gender of the noun, okay? So let's see an example when we use um, nouns, they are masculine. And we will add to every noun an adjective, in this case klein, small, and we have the noun der Vater, der Sohn, der Ball. And let's make a sentence to see what's going on here when we add the adjective to our nouns. Our example sentence would be der kleine Vater gibt dem kleinen Sohn den kleinen Ball. Okay, you see that we have in the first part der kleine Vater und then we have dem kleinen Sohn, den kleinen Ball. So actually, when we have the nominative case in masculine with the definite article, we add to our adjective an E. Okay? In accusative, the masculine article changes. So when it changes, we need to add an EN to our adjective. So therefore it's den kleinen Ball. Okay, the same thing is uh, for dative because it's not all, it's not anymore there, it's dem, so we need to add en. So this is my explanation because there it's the original uh, masculine article, so we add just e to the uh, to the adjective, and in accusative and dative we add en. So let's see what happens when we have feminine nouns like. Uh, sorry, neuter nouns uh, like das Kind, das Pferd, das Brot. And the sentence here would be das kleine Kind gibt dem kleinen Pferd das kleine Brot. It's quite similar, but the accusative, no? uh, here the adjective just takes the E or just adds the E. Why it adds just the E? Because it's still das. It doesn't change. no? And therefore we add just e. So nominative does and we add e. Accusative it still does so we add e. But dative there's a change to dem and so we add to the adjective e n. Okay and I also use those uh, colors so you really see what's going on. So here the brown color is for e n and uh, like the uh, lila or purple color it's the e. So let's jump to the feminine. So like die Mutter, die Tochter, die Puppe. Klein. Uh, so how would be the sentence? Maybe pause the video one moment and think about it. Okay, so let's see. Here it would be die kleine Mutter gibt der kleinen Tochter die kleine Puppe. Quite similar to the neuter because die in nominative adds the e to the adjective, accusative it stays die so it adds the e and dative there is a change into der so we need to add e n. Okay. Quite logical, I think you get what I mean. So let's see in plural. In plural would be die kleinen Eltern geben den kleinen Kindern die kleinen Sachen. And now you say wow 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 why it's now en. Okay let's say it this, this way. It's plural and always to the adjective we add en. Take it as a rule okay. No? See it as two uh, groups, so we have plural and we have the singular, and but plural always takes en. We don't care, okay? So it's nominative, accusative, dative. We add always to the adjective en. Okay, this is for the definite articles. But what happens if we use indefinite articles? That means ein, okay? So the first sentence in masculine would change this way. Ein kleiner Vater gibt dem äh, gibt einem kleinen Sohn einen kleinen Ball. Actually, in nominative there's a little surprise because we add here er to our adjective. Ein kleiner Vater. Why do we do this? Because 
Ein doesn't have any ending and any information. There's no ending, it's just ein. So we use actually the ER from there, no, in our adjective and therefore we add ER. That's the tricky one. That's a little bit tricky, but we need to remember this. No? If we say just ein, no, we have to say ein kleiner Vater. In accusative and dative, no surprises because we have already the ending in our article. No, in accusative it would be einen and then we say kleinen Ball. In dative we have einem kleinen Sohn. No? And we add en because it changed from nominative because we have einen in einem. Okay, so, so this is here. So what do you think uh, about the Neutral? No? Maybe pause the video one moment and think about it. Okay, so let's see. Ein kleines Pferd gibt einem kleinen Pferd ein kleines Brot. Okay, the same problem here because in Neuter ein, in Nominativ, doesn't have an ending. So we add es because it's for the Neuter to the adjective. And in Akkusativ the same thing because it's still ein. No? So it's uh, ein kleines no? Brot. And in Dative, no surprise, einem kleinen Pferd. In Feminine, how would be in Feminine? Eine kleine Mutter gibt einer kleinen Tochter eine kleine Puppe. Eine already has an ending. Okay, eine. So we stick to the same idea like with the definite article D. So we add E for nominative and accusative to the adjective. And in dative we add EN. Okay. Okay, in plural we don't have an uh, indefinite article, but we could say kein. No? Uh, so we could say keinen, keine kleinen Eltern geben keinen kleinen Kindern keine kleinen Sachen. So no small parents give no small kids, no small things. But here, same thing, we add just en, so plural, quite straightforward. But there's one last group. We could use no articles and just adjective and the noun. In this moment, our masculine an example sentence would be Kleiner Vater gibt kleinen Sohn kleinen Ball. Small father gives small son small ball. Because we don't have any article, we need to add the information about nominative, accusative and dative into our adjective. Therefore, it's kleiner Vater, because it's nominative, gibt kleinem Sohn, it's dative, im, no, we add im, kleinen Ball, no, accusative, kleinen Ball. Okay? How would be when we don't have articles in the Neuter sentence? Think about it. Here we go. Kleines Kind gibt kleinem Pferd kleines Brot. So it just takes the ending. No, it just takes the ending what we need. Okay. So kleines Kind nominativ, kleines Brot accusativ, kleinem Pferd dative. And feminine same thing. Kleine Mutter gibt Kleiner Tochter, kleine Puppe. No? We need to put these endings into our adjective. And plural has to do the same thing. Kleine Eltern geben kleinen Kindern kleine Sachen. So here we have no article and we add those endings. But it's not so frequent that we don't have an article, no? but uh, it could be. And therefore I put it here as well. And this is our table. It looks a little bit complicated, but use those colors, no? like the purple color and the uh, brown color, because that's the most important ones. No? And be careful a little bit when we don't have endings in our article. No? Then we have to put the endings into our adjective. So here you have the resume. Maybe you can uh, just take a screenshot or just go to my course, then you will find this table. And remember that we have also a genitive case that shows possession. No, it's our fourth case, but it's hardly used in spoken language. But here we have table. That's a resume no, uh, of uh, what I explained today about the adjective declension. And remember what's inside the pot no, doesn't change. What's outside the pot, there's some changes. So thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video. I know it's a little bit complicated, but uh, if you need to watch it again and you will get it and use the colors because they help a lot. I see you in one of my next videos. Uh, thank you very much and bye bye.